Hello guys, today for your attention I propose to provide some information about our uh, research and this research uh, is related to cyber physical systems in industry 4.0 uh, and integration uh, LLM to uh, some factories and uh, especially for on-premise systems because for example we know about ChatGPT uh, 4 yes and we know also about uh, BERT at the moment it's uh, Gemini from Google and uh, yes this LLMs is very good and nice but uh, this LLMs has uh, a very big problem is uh, uh, this LLMs uh, cloud LLMs, yes, and uh, probably uh, some many of uh, factories, many of uh, industrial businesses uh, don't want to work with uh, these cloud solutions. And uh, very important at the moment uh, provide these LLMs uh, for on-premise systems for systems that uh, do not have any interruptions interruptions with internet with uh, outside the world and uh, these LLM systems uh, just only inside of some factories inside of some uh, servers and so on so let's uh, see what we have so uh, basically uh, the main big uh, part of uh, current modern uh, modern uh, IT world world is uh, industry 4.0 yes and uh, at the moment the most popular way is integration any large language models to these fields and uh, industry for uh, 4.0 includes a lot of uh, different fields something like internet of things cyber physical systems uh, simulation and modeling blockchain etc and uh, the main key uh, elements for this industry for no for zero is a uh, uh, LLMs and uh, in our research, uh, we do not include uh, GPT, BERT, and maybe some another LLMs, cloud LLMs. I mean, uh, to on-premise, yes. But yes, we made some uh, comparison between uh, Llama 7B uh, and GPT. But uh, unfortunately, GPT is a cloud service from OpenAI and uh, as i know <laughs> gpt uh, i mean open ie store or all, all your data uh, for period for duration one month for example you uh, made some prompt and this prompt uh, will be st uh, will store for one month so it's uh, awful for any industrial environments any industrial uh, businesses and so on so uh, the main objectives and scope of the our research was investigate how on-premise deployment of LLMs can enhance IoT and CPS functionalities in industrial settings next to develop a conceptual model for LLMs uh, that supports real-time data processing I mean, uh, do not create a new LLMs. Yes, we want to use uh, some existing LLMs, but uh, we uh, will use these LLMs for our uh, on-premise solution. For example, uh, we can uh, go to the Hugging Face uh, site, and this Hugging Face site, uh, it's at the moment it's a huge community that uh, already includes a lot of. Uh, different LLMs. Uh, for example, uh, Llama from Meta. Uh, it's very uh, incredible uh, lar large language model. It's uh, totally free. On this hugging face you can uh, find a lot of models uh, with some fine-tuned data. For example, uh, with uh, different context windows 
uh, and so on. And um, uh, in our research, uh, we used a llama to be uh, llama two seven B. Uh, I mean, with seven billion uh, pre-fine tuned parameters. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, and the scope of research uh, was to uh, emphasize the theoretical underpinnings, the development of innovative models, and the practical implementation for industrial technologies. Uh, yes, regarding to practical implementation, it's uh, on the some stage. Uh, we still continue to investigate in this field because this field is uh, very modern and with uh, very high growing. So uh, each each week we <laughs> we have uh, some new differences uh, that we had a previous uh, week. So, but I hope in the nearest future we will uh, get uh, some uh, good solution for. Uh, some good universal uh, universal solution for any on-premise uh, factory, for example. Uh, next, what we have regarding to LLMs. So, uh, firstly, it's a data processing. Yes. Next, decision making. Next, human machine interaction. Uh, it's a mm, top three. Uh, very important elements for any LLMs. And uh, so let's go through to the next slide. And uh, yes, we investigate. Uh, while we investigate uh, in, uh, in this theme, uh, we will uh, we, we had uh, some uh, we defined uh, some uh, gaps uh, for existing solutions. And uh, the main uh, the main gaps are uh, comprehensive integration strategies for deploying LLMs on on premise in industrial environments, scalability and resource management challenges in adapting LLMs for industrial use, and limited research on real time data processing capabilities and customized industrial applications. And uh, also future opportunities is addressing these gaps could lead to more sophisticated, efficient and secure industrial operations. Potential for industry specific customization to enhance relevance and operational efficiency. And uh, here is our uh, main uh, conceptual uh, logical schema. Uh, for our integration, so it's a uh, uh, common schema. And uh, regarding to this schema, uh, what we used, uh, what we want to use, yes, and what we uh, suggest to use. Firstly, it is a Llama 7B. Uh, I mean, uh, second type of Llama, second generation of Llama. Uh, Lava, Lama 2 7B. Also, you can use and uh, 70, uh, 70B, 13B parameters, but for these cases, uh, we should use a more uh, better uh, servers with uh, more uh, better CPUs and GPUs because uh, as many you have these parameters as uh, much more better uh, hardware you should to have because it's a, a performance yes next uh, when you create uh, some on-premise solution you also should uh, have a some on-premise vector database for these uh, moments the best case is to use a uh, quadrant Qdrant is a uh, very popular uh, vector database. Uh, it has ability to uh, create. Uh, it has ability to create uh, local uh, version of uh, this database, and also Qdrant pro uh, provide ability to use their own uh, their own uh, cloud services. So it's I think regarding to 
uh, vector database Qdrant is uh, the best solution. Next, uh, length chain. Uh, our uh, server side, our backend, uh, backend was created uh, with Python and regarding to this, the most common and useful uh, library is a length chain because length chain provide to us ability to use a lot of uh, tailored functions and functionality regarding to these uh, LLMs and uh, different IoT elements and so on. So it's a good uh, uh, library, middleware and so on. Also for uh, creation some embeddings regarding to your information uh, you should have something like a Cohere but Cohere is a cloud service uh, and we can't to use this uh, inside of our on-premise solution and that's why uh, we also choose a length chain, a length chain. so what uh, what is the main moment yes so uh, we suggest to use uh, this schema that we uh, you can see on this slide and we suggest to use llama for example 7b also you can uh, go to the uh, hugging face and choose any another uh, pre-fine tuned uh, llms and use in on-premise system next qdrant and next length chain because length chain also provides some functionality to create embeddings and then these embeddings uh, will uh, be stored in Qdrent and then uh, this uh, vector stored data we can use easily with Lama okay and as a result uh, what, we, what we have uh, firstly this result that you can see on this slide it was modeling with uh, uh, Monte Carlo method uh, because it's a little bit uh, hard to uh, make this on the real uh, equipment because regarding to GPTs and regarding to real factory equipment we do not have uh, as I mentioned previously at the moment we just have our first theoretical results and uh, in nearest future we want to try to use it uh, on some uh, factory uh, industrial e equipments yes but but regarding to this we have this good result so in overall <laughs> you can see all results on the slide but uh, uh, in overall uh, I want to say that uh, regarding to on-premise solution uh, to use your local uh, llama is uh, will be better for example because uh, firstly better regarding to secure information uh, better uh, regarding to prefine tuned uh, moments because uh, you can easily uh, make some prefine tuned tailored uh, moments yes regarding to chat GPT-4 it's uh, definitely uh, better than llama but if you want to uh, make some conversation, uh, conversation, uh, conversation, common conversa conversation with ChatGPT, you can just open ChatGPT and make this conversation. Yes, but if you want to uh, create embeddings uh, regard, uh, based on your uh, local or your uh, factory documentation and uh, provide to your employees to. Uh, make some process more faster for example try to find some uh, information uh, uh, industrial information it will be better to use uh, on-premise solution for example based on llama uh, and as a result you will get uh, less uh, latency and so on so in this case uh, what conclusion we can create? Uh, we, uh, we will have. We have yes. Uh, so, enhancing data privacy and security, improved real-time processing, customization and adaptability, resource efficiency, and ethical uh, and complete deployment. Yes, regarding to these ethical moments, uh, for example, if you have your own LLMs. Uh, I mean uh, deployed on your uh, local uh, servers you can uh, uh, ask 
any what you want because without any ethical and complete deployment uh, because regarding to chat GPT-4 or uh, Gemini uh, these uh, models, cloud models has a lot of uh, restrictions so in this case yes uh, on-premise solution will be the best case for any industrial uh, factory okay thank you so much uh, see you later